What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to welcome you to today's video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the top 5 ways to improve your user control in Madden 18. Now as we're preparing for Madden 18 launch, I've been doing some videos here, been trying to figure out what are the best tactics and things you can be doing right now to improving your game. One of those things is trying to figure out how do we get better with the stick. Now, the number one tip that I wanna to recommend to you really quickly before we really dive in here, and the biggest thing that you can do, in my opinion, to get better at user control in Madden 18 is actually to play FIFA. Uh, for those of you guys that don't know, you might play FIFA already. FIFA is a soccer game and it is entirely stick skill and the reason i say to play fifa is because it trains you it, it trains you on the sticks it teaches you just basic mechanics by just playing the game so i would say that would be the first thing and, and in my opinion test it out just play it a couple times you'll thank me it is a incredibly fun game to play with friends so what i would do here's what i would do if i were you i would get together with maybe two to three friends and figure out when would be a good time to play FIFA. Once you figure that out, set up the time and then play it for, you know, an hour or two and then play Madden afterwards, I guarantee you, you'll realize that it actually makes your user stick better. That's something that I've been using lately uh, as kind of a way to relax as I've been playing FIFA instead of Madden because Madden's kind of like work for me. And so I've been playing FIFA and it's actually improved my user stick skill in my opinion way more than any other tactic I've ever used. But with that in mind, I do want to give you these five tips. So the first thing that I would recommend if you're not going to play FIFA is to use the middle linebacker. So when you're on defense, one of the ways that you can train yourself and practice and that kind of thing is by using the middle linebacker because what that does is it allows you to be in the middle of the field. You're basically playing center fielder or shortstop or second base or whatever you want to call it and you, you're, you're able to make a lot of moves. You, you control a very good section of the field, whether you think you do or not. So I would say the first thing is use the middle linebacker. That's what I do on all of my videos. You'll see that I primarily use her, the guy in the middle of the field. That's where you wanna be. The second thing that I would recommend, and I know it sounds like common sense, but I did wanna cover it. Make sure that you're holding ball hawk and turbo the majority of the time when the play is running. So when the play is actually going, you wanna be holding R2, which will give you turbo, and then you wanna be holding triangle or Y on Xbox, which will be giving you uh, some you know, some, some ways to basically uh, uh, hold ball hawk. That way you're gonna make more interceptions. However, there are certain times, and those are very, very rare, where you're gonna to wanna to swat instead of hold, instead of try to go for the interception. But I would say that is ultimately too rare to be able to give you a general tip so use your discretion on that but just know there are those situations that will arise the third thing that i would say and you'll see it when we get on the defensive side here if you'll watch the rest of this gameplay the third thing i would say and probably the what's going to give you the best oh, the best results from an interception perspective more interceptions that kind of thing is to you is to swerve and when I say swerve, it basically means, and we could show you, uh, that's how you, it's also how you user catch. So I'll show you really quickly. Uh, let's see if we can set up a time or uh, set up a route here. So we're gonna try to throw this ball to Vincent Jackson, just gonna throw a blind to him, just, just to show you. And if you watch it here, uh, we're just gonna throw it uh, in and out. So we're gonna bring him in and bring him out. And as you can see, it gets inside position. Now you're gonna use that same principle. That's how you user catch. And that's, again, you can cross, it cross applies to offense and defense. But what it also does, what it also does is on defense, it's gonna help you to basically swerve in and out to get your, your, get your guy on inside position. So like right here, we didn't do a good job there because I didn't smart route the route, I didn't have the right trajectory. So those are things that you, you work on. Offensively, I would say that user control is more is all about the swerve. If you if you're looking at an offensive tip, if you're if you're looking at this from that perspective, I would say the number one thing you could do is is swerve on offense because what the swerve tactic does, and again I call it swerving. Uh, what you're really doing is you're just trying to get inside position. Um, there are people this season that have used a tactic called the swerve, and it wasn't about user; it was more about trying to glitch. 
Um, to me, the swerve, the, the gaining inside position is something you try to do in any sports game. Uh, it's just kind of the mechanics of the way the game works. It's the way sports works. It's all about leverage. So that would be what I would say. And we'll show you here. Uh, if he starts throwing the ball, we'll show you some of the swerve tactics. But basically, you're going to start one way and then you're going to come back. So you're just kind of swerving around the field. Um, it, 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 it's the best way I can explain it. To, to really learn it, you, you'll have to just watch and see on this drive how I use it. And you'll be able to clearly probably tell, tell uh, here. But anyways, the, the, the fourth tip that I want to suggest to you, so basically what's going to happen to Swerve is I'm going to jump here, and it kind of goes in into this, um, it goes into this fifth tip, or the fourth tip, I'm sorry, is to bait and switch your opponent. Now, bait and switch your opponent can mean several things. The basic concept is you want to make your opponent think you're going one way and then jump back on another route. So mentally, that's going to cover two routes. So for example, if I started left and then came back right here, that's going to that's going to you know make him see something and it's going to deter him from throwing it to the left side of the field as soon as I make just an initial jump, okay? This is a concept. This is probably the concept I use the most when it comes to uh, being an effective user player as I do that. I'll, I'll jump left and then come back right. And when you're really focused in on it, it really is important and it really is helpful. And I call it the bait and switch. And basically, whatever you want to do, and you can pro I try to program it to my play. So like for example, if I'm running this, what I do is I'll immediately jump to the right and then come back over the middle. So and it all depends on the feel of the situation of what routes he's looking at or whatever. But that's kind of how you program it. Uh, and then the fifth thing, uh, the, the fifth thing that I wanted to recommend to you guys, if you're looking at user controlling and that kind of thing, is is to continue to practice. And the reason I say that is because the more reps you get, the better you're going to be. And it's just that simple. Uh, when you're when you're facing the run game on defense, the hard part is usering this year is probably different than it's ever been, and it will probably stay more like it is this year, just because that's kind of the nature of the way Madden works. When they're running the ball on you, you just literally jump through a gap and try to fill a lane. This year, whereas years past, you would start you would start more back and come forward. This year, you start forward and come back. And that's why I say user the middle linebacker. I've been using the middle linebacker since Madden 12. People used to use the safety. To me, it just makes more sense. So basically right here, watch. I'll come here and then come back down on this. That's that's more of what I call a swerve. It's where you in a bait and switch tactic. Those those little movements, those little quick movements there is really gonna help you get better on the user control. So to recap really quickly, uh, let's see if we can go through these just real quick. The first tip that I wanted you to do is to use the middle linebacker. Again, I think that's just critical because you wanna be underneath, you don't wanna be over the top. Because of the inside position, because of the swerves, for you to make an interception or for you to really make a difference, you need to be underneath. Uh, between and I say I say it's leverage you need to have position where you're in in between your man and the ball is kind of like basketball is the way I kind of think of it uh, is where you want to be in between your man and the goal this way you want to be in between the quarterback and the receiver because the receiver is the goal the receiver is the target the second tip is to hold ball hawk at all times and hold turbo at all times I recommend this um, unless it's a running play. So if it's a passing play, you'll see I'm just going to run around whole triangle. Uh, I think it just simplifies it. Some people would say that you should do, um, you know, you should do something a little different. But to me, that's that's what I would suggest. The third thing is to swerve. It's probably the best way to improve your user control on offense is to basically just do little swerves with the left stick to where you're going from 11 o'clock to 2 o'clock. And that's kind of a, an idea of what I would do. Um, and again, the only reason you're doing that is to kind of just give it, it's 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 like a juke without juking. It gives you a little bit more control over the joystick. So like right here, um, there you see there's the more of a, a straight sprint. And then the fourth thing is to bait and switch your opponent. What I when I say bait and switch, again, what I'm saying is you want to start one direction and then come back off of it. So if you're running the ball, this is actually a really good tip. If you're running the ball, so here I'll show you. I'm gonna start outside because I know I want to come back inside. Start outside and then set it up. Set up. It's, that's how you set up your blockers. You you start outside, come back inside. One other quick tip for running the ball: don't ever hold turbo uh, until you're through the lane, until you're through the running lane. If you hold turbo, 
the blockers, the, the defense block shits. And then fifthly, uh, the last thing that I say is just get more reps. Get more reps. Get as many reps as you can. Get off of the, you know, try to do everything yourself. Try to use your catch. Try to get more reps with everything. The more training, the more repetition you get, the better it's going to be for your user control game. So try to run plays that, in my opinion, what I like to do at the begin at the end of the year, where I'm just kind of in pre in, in, in what I call training mode for next season. What you want to do is you want to start running plays that specifically target user control. That's where I run the ball more because it helps with my user control. Also, what I'll do is I'll run passing patterns that have more of a user catch feel to it than just open receivers. And that's kind of how I train myself offensively. Defensively, it's pretty much all usering for the majority of the, of the game and play calling. So anyways, guys, that's the top five tips to improve your user game for Madden 18. If you guys enjoyed this video and if it was helpful, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and also do me a favor, share this video with one person. I'm sure all of you know someone that could benefit from this video. Be sure to share this video via whatever way you want to do it up to you, but just get the video out. Let people see it. Let people get better at the game.